Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a new registration page in PHP and store the values in remote database PHP My Admin for my SQL Server of GoDaddy. I'm using Notepad++ for this example. And this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML5 code, a table with some input text boxes, name, user ID, password and email and input button control. Let's save this file. We'll check the designing part how it looks on the browser. And this is the output of that code. Four text boxes, one sign up button. When a new user register and sign up, I want to store these values on a remote server, which is MySQL PHP My Admin, and the remote database hosted on GoDaddy server. Let's log into my GoDaddy account. We'll check the table and column names. I'm signing to my GoDaddy account. I just logged into my GoDaddy PHP My Admin. I'm expanding the MySQL DB, which is a user database. The user register. I'm browsing the table. And right now, this user register contains zero rows. So the table is totally empty. Let's check the column names. Go to Edit. This ID column is auto generate name user id email and password let's flip back to the coding part first we'll connect the database then we'll insert the values in this user registered table now the coding part about the doc type html i'm adding php and close up php code here the first one i'm creating a variable host name And second one is the username. Third one is the DB name. And the password. Host name. Usually, when we want to connect the host name to local PC, we write here local host. But to connect the remote database, we need to specify the IP address of the host name, which I will show you now. And notice here at the top, this is the host name. And don't specify colon 3306, only specify this part only, IP part only. And the database is MySQLDB and the table is user register. Let's flip back to the coding part, we will add this IP address. And the host name is this one and here the username I'm giving username only and the password also password just for the security reasons I have not specified the real credentials once I upload this PHP file into my remote database I will change into my real credentials and the database name is mysql db I'm creating connection variable here. My SQLI connect method which takes these four variables. One is the host name, second one is the username, third one is the password. And the fourth one is the database name or die if the connection failed I want to display unable to connect the database if is set method dollar underscore post which takes the name of the submit button dollar u name dollar underscore post Here the input text name value 
copy it instead of uh, uname I need the user ID this one name copy it paste here and third one is the password PASS name the fourth one is the email ID name of the email ID te text box dollar SQL is equals to insert into the table name is user reg and the column names are name user ID password email values between the single quotes uname user id password the last one is the email these are all dollars if dollar the, this connection query dollar sql triple equals to true echo new record created successfully else echo not inserted the last one is we need to close the connection let's save this file now we'll check the final output on the browser I'm reloading the page the name I'm giving Jack user ID is Jack123 password the email Jack123 at gmail.com click sign up so now here we got the message new record created successfully let's check in the database table the user details the new user details is inserted or not after we insert the new user details I'm browsing the table and here we got the first user details Jack user ID is Jack123 email ID and password that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos